you can even justify maxing or missed coil on a bat in this game. They still cannot afford to fall behind. But if they get like a good start, they can yeah. start five many taking down towers. The damage output right yeah. on the control. Don't really leave them. Just start running at secret here in the very first fight over the battle room. Nice double impale from Pilot. I already said things out right. They did get the battle room. They might even get the first one as well. Hard four. He doesn't have a prayer getting out of that one alive. But the spirit siphon slowing him down. He gets to, uh, to control the rune as well. He's gonna go for Universe here. He's gonna be able to easily land this avalanche. Just goes for the toss straight upwards. He's gonna try and run him down underneath his tier one tower. Does have the haste rune. It should be easily enough. And will end up going down underneath the tower, but it's still fine, claiming the experience. But they they must have known this going into this game that they are heavily reliant on levels as you see top lane. Ben Rear is going to be run down by Puppy. He doesn't care. They know that e -home are unlikely going to be able to TP and uh, really punish this one. But they're in so deep and it took them a really long time to actually kill Ben Rear. Now they get the heck on to hold on him. They're actually going to be able to burst it now with the ultimate. He gets off the Ebonic Shield, but it doesn't matter. One more right click and it finishes them off. They're underneath deep, underneath this tower. Old Eleven is here with an extra bit of revenge. They claim one core kill. and looks like should be able to run down Pylai Die as well. He's out of options. He's just buying more and more time as a game of Ring Around the Rosie commences. Is, but it has to end eventually. Instead of that, uh, as a result of that rotation, he's going to pick up his level 7. And that burst damage is quite modest. They're going to sandwich Puppy. Ice, 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 and a TP in. Might be able to get some sort of return fire here. Old 11 not going to be saved, but they do get their turnaround kill on a Puppy and start right clicking Universe. But I think he realizes he can win this. Even if it is 1v2 home for sitting so far forward, Old 11 is actually in a kind of a nasty spot. He does get spotted out here. Ice, ice, ice. He's going to be able to help him out, but it might be too late. The Primal Roar goes down, and Old 11 is definitely dead. Team Secrets, they don't stumble into that tiny position for being so far forward. Yeah, and Pilot Die desperately needs levels in this game. 0, 1, and 2 hasn't really been able to accomplish nearly as much as the support duo on the other side is Ice, Ice, Ice. Just throwing out tracks. And Secret already going for this mid tower as this aggressive blink forward. Ben Rear tries to save himself, but of course that's pure damage from RTZ. Ice 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 is going to be the next target already impaled up. Sonic Wave goes out, they just pop him. He gets off the Shuriken, but it doesn't seem to be enough. Old Chicken can't really stop and win this fight without the extra system as Lanham isn't going to be able to help him out. Looks like Old Eleven gets the toss up in the air, but it's not enough to kill the OD. While Lanham is eventually going to take out from this Doom, and Old Chicken is just being kited around. The OD who did not die to the tiny turns around and kills him instead, and he's Home. They lost everyone in this. So the Curse of Avernus, maybe that's your best option here at this rate, but uh, I, this just does not look like the... Oh, no, don't forget Ice Ice Ice! A short memory there as that counter ward catches him out once again. Initiation from Ehome is secret. They're just tracking it back here. Old Eleven is going to go for the toss forward here on the Bounty Hunter. This impale! Highlight die. Oh, turn around here for a total heavy. Gets a big sonic wave. The sound falls them up. They're going to try and track down a total heavy as much as possible. They just can't keep him one way. Now the turn around. Arcane, drops the hammer. Able to take out two ones. The only surviving member, but he's losing intelligence and losing it faster than you can even see. Highlight die. He finally goes down, but it doesn't really matter. He trades away his life for a guaranteed kill on Old Chicken. A one for five exchange. With Ehome, because he knows there's no hard disables to make him uh, fearful. Went for a Hood of Defiance so that he can easily survive through Tiny knowing that there's no other disabled. Puppy's gonna be a target here, they will be able to slow him down. Puppy is gonna be eaten alive here by the Exorcism. The track bounces over to Eternal Envy and Secret. Across the jumps forward. forward. Prismant with the Exorcism still out. Old Chicken may be able to heal himself soon. Gets off the silence onto Eternal Envy. The Roar comes out, going on to Fenrir. Immediately taken off with the Aquatic Shield. Now they have the Oracle save, but it might not be enough as a huge Sonic Wave hits. And it's only going to be Lanham and Death Prophet who are able to keep themselves relatively healthy. Lanham again just being kited around time and time again. Ice 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 battling up against Eternal Envy, but he knows this is a fight he just can't win. Has to run himself away while the OD is able to get Death Prophet. Yeah, he's so very found at this point. He's got a blink dagger, the drums of endurance, very close to a veil of discord. I mean, when you look at the fights. Okay. Okay. RTZ says you want to try and walk away from that one, Ice Ice Ice. That was deal. 75 in stolen. You're not gonna fight that hero. <laughs> and the crazy part is that in some ways, uh, whenever the OD sees the Abaddon, he's like, I'm very happy now too to go along with it. Okay, so the setup for this fight might actually be good. He's gonna be able to find out some of these heroes. They jump forward, already get his final roll. That's 
There's going to be no Oracle Ultimate to be able to save Old Chicken. And she's being targeted down by the OG. The CC's going to fall so quickly. The Embodied Shield is just not enough against the Finger of Death. Bottom, yes, he's healing up, but he's doomed. He can't help his allies. So they leave him for last. He's the dessert. As the rest of E-Home was consumed. Oracle with absolutely no time. That team fight synergy from start to finish. Arteezy gets rid of Lon M in that fight too. Oh no! Wow, that's 85 hints. Good lord, why Arteezy? Yeah, you made an extremely good point on the on the case of a, a battle with uh, borrowed time and how Arteezy just loves stealing all his intelligence. His nice. secret just looks so on top of things. He's trying to get some harassment shuriken damage, but it's not much, Lon M. Even going for the deny, they actually jump in now with Old Eleven. Oh, they actually get the toss back, but there is the imprisonment save, and Old Eleven, he may be dropped here from Arteezy. Comes in, Eternal Heavy misses the Sonic Wave on Old Eleven, but he hits the rest of Evil, allowing Arteezy to be able to dry up here and take one. The Death Prophet goes down, and he's coming back with life number two. e home regrouping now, wondering whether or not they can initiate, but Eternal Heavy, he says, you want to initiate? I'll initiate on you instead, forcing e home back to the fountain while Secret casually takes that range rack on their way out. 27 to 9. I thought that last score was going to be rough, but this one's even going to Oracle Ultimate, is that even going to be enough to save? Arteezy hits so damn hard, he's going to be able to take all 11 even if Obanum doesn't drop. Barely keeps himself alive underneath the fountain. I about the lack of item efficiency. Last game, Seeker really took their time to make sure they had the biggest net worth lead they could before they went high ground. This time around, they're not dropping a beat, they keep on going. As the cooldown's already back up, the Doom placed on Lana. And the team will be able to take one of those racks, but they have to back. It's good that they've uh, discovered this Hood of Defiance and the active where Creator spell the spell shield. Oh, I saw, I saw, I thought he was just going to be a scouting pilot eye. Leads them right into their trap. Will be able to provide the disabled. Has the finger of death ready to go. Sure, can stop it for a second, but a second is not enough. Ice 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 loses his life and Monic Shields will be able to provide him some saves. Puppy's just trying to close that gap though with the Infernal Blade. Turns on Alana instead. The imprisonment goes out. Ice 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 comes back here, but Primal War taken out to shot by RTZ. E home, even underneath their fountain. They can only only take so much secret game so far just to try to keep their tournament hopes alive. Maybe hope that uh, Secret just gets way too over-aggressive, but... Arteezy's found another pickoff. Old Eleven was too far forward. ATZ jumps forward, grabs him with the imprisonment. They're gonna try and run him down and get him in the end! Arteezy reads it. The OD ultimate drops, finishes off Old Eleven. There goes their primary initiator. There also goes their primary disabler. And Ehome... Looking a little bit bewildered as to how they're gonna be able to stop this final push of Team Secret. And it just doesn't seem possible. Puppy casually runs in. Case Lon him out of the fight entirely with the Doom. RTZ keeps running forward. He takes one hero. He's going to target the next. Takes out the Oracle. Now turns his attention onto Old Chicken. Waiting him on him as his ultimate's going to end up going down soon. Another GG. This time 33 to 9. Make it 34. And a casual 35 pickup for the throne explodes as Secret. They drop down to lose his bracket nice and early. People were rather surprised. But now against Ehome, they take two of the most dominant games yet. That series lasted all together, maybe an hour, draft included. It just felt like they got absolutely rolled here from the pick phase on. they got absolutely rolled here. I mean, this was just fast. Not a whole lot that E-Home could do, even with the success of Ice 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 roaming around. That bounty hunter was incredibly effective.